Wow. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Uh, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, um, let me uh, let me uh, give my uh condolences to the Braxton family. Uh, Tracy Renee Braxton. Her album uh, Crash and Burn was released in 2004. Preceded by the single Last Call, Last Call peaked at number 16 on the U.S. R.B. Adult chart. But she's from Severn, Maryland, of course, and uh, she was an Aries. Her birthday was going to be next month, her birthday. So, um, oh, wow. She she died. And uh, this is such a shock to me. She had esophageal cancer. And they said that they had been treated. Anyway, Tracy Braxton of the reality series Braxton Family Values and sister of the Grammy Award singer Tony has died at 50. It is with the utmost regret that we inform you of the passing of our sister Tracy. The Braxton family said in a statement confirming her passing on Saturday that the Hollywood Reporter obtained needless to say she was a bright light, a wonderful daughter, an amazing sister, a loving mother, wife, grandmother, and a respected performer. We will miss her dearly. We ask that you respect our privacy as we plan to send her home with love, celebrating her life. In a separate statement from her husband, Kevin Surratt, he confirmed that she passed from esophageal cancer and after undergoing a year of treatment. The singer, actress, and philanthropist passed away on Saturday morning, surrounded by family, including her sisters, mothers, and friends, according to her publicist. Her son, Kevin Jr., <sighs> mourned her passing. When I heard about my mother being sick, first thing she said was, I'm going to fight and beat this, he wrote in a caption of a photo featuring Tracy and her son embracing. She fought to the end, and today she's at peace. I love my mother forever, and this hurts so much. I am at peace knowing she isn't in any pain anymore. I love you, Ma. I'm going to miss you. Tracy was born in 1971, the third child of Michael Conrad Braxton Sr. and Evelyn Jackson. In the late 80s and 90s, Tracy performed with her sisters, Tony, Tawanda, Trina, and Tamar after the group signed their first record deal with Arista Records in 1889. Their first single, Good Life, was released in 1990 before Tony parted ways with the group. Uh, Tracy would again release her first album called Crash and Burn in 2014. A few years ago, Tracy appeared in several movies, including The Christmas Lottery and Sinners Wanted, the latter of which was her official acting debut. Between 18, 20, 2018 and 2020, she also starred alongside her sisters, Tony, Trina, and Tamar, as well as their mother. And y'all know in that weekly variety series, The Braxton Family Values, which she co-executive produced. The Magical Elves team is deeply saddened to hear about the passing of Tracy. The Magical Elves, the production company behind the Braxton Family Value, said in the statement, Tracy was such a light in this world, and having the opportunity to work closely with her on the Braxton Family Values for over a decade is something that we will cherish forever. We are sending our love and condolences to the Braxton family. God. In 2013, Tracy and her husband, Kevin, appeared on the third season of Marriage Boot Camp and in the same year debuted her radio show, The Braxton, the Tracy Braxton Show, on Bliss FM Radio. In addition to her entertainment, opportunity, uh, entertainment commitments, she was also involved in philanthropic endeavors supported by various charities and nonprofits geared towards women and children with disabilities. In a statement, her longtime manager, Cliff Jones of Soul World Entertainment, said, 
out of all the people that I ever managed, Tracy was one of those that was managing me. She would always manage the whole situation. We put a plan together for her to become an artist, an entrepreneur, and an actress. And she did everything. When people said she wasn't capable of doing an album, she did too. People said she wouldn't do movies. She did everything she wanted to accomplish. Always a the philanthropist. I've watched her give her last to someone in need. Amongst the obvious, uh, she was a great mother, wife, sister, and friend. That is the Tracy we want people to remember. Tracy is survived by her husband, her son, her siblings, including her brother Michael Conrad Braxton Jr. and her mother. Oh, I want to give my condolences to the Braxton family, y'all. Wow. I was very shocked to hear about Tracy. And uh, my condolences go to her family. So sorry. Y'all leave your comments below. I'll see y'all in the next video.